G'day everyone, it's so good to have the kayak out, ready to launch on the Waranga Basin for a redfin fishing session. Hey you! You're watching Robbie Fishing. The first thing I need to do is drag my kayak over to the water. I didn't want to take my car any closer because it looks a bit spongy. Oh, it's cold. Now my first observation is that the water is very, very cold. I've got bare feet, which is a bit crazy in the middle of May. Now I'm going to put my life jacket on, which goes around my waist, and get organised. Got a funny feeling I'm going to catch a few fish today. I've just don't know. I'm picking up a good vibe off the lake. Now there's a bit of a breeze here today, so there will be wind noise in the audio, unfortunately. Anyway, it can't be helped. On my trolling rod, I have a little Damiki Disco. I love those things. And on my spinning rod, I have a soft plastic. It's a Stry Tiger 1.5 inch curl tail grub in white bait pearl. I'll be trolling and casting. I might start off just casting a soft plastic around the shallows here. Right, I've been casting for about 20 minutes or so and I haven't. I haven't had any touches, so I might go for a bit of a crawl. I don't think I need to cast that out too far because it's pretty shallow here. I've just spotted a bust up while I'm trolling the Domeki. There's about a little bit of a redfin bust up just over here. I heard the splash. They're there somewhere. I'm trolling my little Damiki Disco and then I heard all this splashing and I looked over and there's a heap of little redfin busting up on the surface here. There they are over there! Where are they? Come here. That's got them, that's got them, that's got them. Got it! Oh, out of touch! Now got him! Hello, little wee, oh, got him! He's not real big, but he's a goer, feisty. Now I found the bust up. I found the bust up and I casted the bust up and I caught one on the soft plastic. <laughs> He's not big, certainly caught smaller. I'll get him back and see if I can get another one there. I've got to remember this Damiki's just floating out there somewhere. I might try and reel it in a bit. Yeah, I'll get that out of the way. Where'd the school go? Lost them. Got him. Got a good one here. He, may, he must have hit it while it was sinking. A bit of weight in this fish. This might be a fair old redfin, you know. Certainly one of the better, like, uh, certainly one of the better Waranga Basin redfin. He's an esky fish, he'll do. He's going into the esky. You beauty! I didn't hit it, I just cast it out, let it sink and reel it in and I thought it was on a bit of weed or something. He must have hit it as it was sinking. Certainly not a big fish, but big enough for the esky from Moringa Basin. Beauty! Oh, I didn't get that on film. Bugger, I just caught a third one and I wasn't filming. I just went to stop my camera and it started. And I said, red fin number three. Well folks, I'll have to tell you about it. I cast it out, I hooked a red fin and I caught it. And I was about the same size as the first one. So I threw it back. So there's three on the board. But you only got to see two of them. <laughs> hate when that happens. Right, I'm going to go trolling again. Last time I'd done this, I cast my lure out. Paddled about 10 metres. And then fish started jumping around. There was a bust up. So I stopped and started casting soft plastic to it.
I've been trolling for about 20 minutes or more. I haven't had a touch. So I might go back to casting again. I thought I'd pick one up trolling, but I might turn around and face the bank and cast into the shallows towards the bank. Got him. It's only a little weeny one, but I'm on. I'm a bit bigger than I thought, actually. Oh, he'll... Oh. I was just going to say, oh, he'll do. He'll go in the esky. And then he got off. Got him. Right beside the kayak. Oh, there's one behind him then. What I've got to do is quickly throw this one back away from the school. So throw that one over there. Just lower this back down because I reckon they're probably under the kayak. Got him. Oh, I've done him right in front of the kayak there then. Right there. Is it still there? Got him. Oh, there's something just down there. It's only shallow. Got him. Hit it as it was sinking. Oh, tiny. Smallest one today. Dawn. Might make this my last cast for a while and go trolling again. Alright, the uh, casting, trolling, casting, trolling system. Switches back to trolling. I should call this the nurse, the nurse technique because I'm taking it in turns. Got him. Hey, I've trolled my first one. I've got all the rest on the plastic and I've trolled one this time. Come on, mate. I trolled him on the Domeki Disco 38, but this is the limited edition one that came in the tackle club box. It's got two single barbless hooks on it. It's a great little lure, I really like it. See you later, mate. And it's also the lure that I caught a really nice yellow belly on at uh, Lake Yildon recently. It's exactly the same body as a Domeki Disco 38. It's just a, uh, a different colour and it's got two single barbless hooks. Trolling, 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 troll hide. Rowan from RKJ Fishing. Rowan and I have nicknamed this bank the Italian Tomatoes Bank. <laughs> the Italian Tomatoes Bank. And I tell you why, we were both out here in our kayaks one day fishing together and there was, a couple, there was a couple of Italian blokes on the bank over there fishing and they were, they were yelling at each other really loud and we could hear them but they were speaking Italian <laughs> all we could hear was tomatoes tomatoes <laughs> not enough tomato is an Italian word or <laughs> why, they, why they said that one word in English I don't know but Tomatoes. <laughs> so if Rowan says to me on the phone, where did you catch a fish? I'll say, just out along the Italian tomatoes bank. <laughs> well, I've been trolling for ages. I've come right out to the end of that bay. I'm just starting to tap the bottom with my lure now. What I think I might do is turn around, drift back into the bay, and cast my soft plastic for a while. I've only picked up one trolling, they've all come on the soft plastic. This should be a pretty leisurely kind of a drift, I think. Got him! Oh, I've done him! Very first cast while I was drifting. I just started drifting and casting and I drifted about two metres. <laughs> 
was a touch. Got him. Now, yeah, hook two on the first cast. One got off, one's gonna get landed. Come on, mate, settle down. Hey, hey, I trawled all the way around there for just one fish, and then I hooked two in the first cast while casting the plastic. Oh. Got him. Hey, little one. Little red fin, see you later. Got him. This one's giving me a bit more stick. Don't know that it's a big fish, but it certainly feels a bit better than the last one. Mm. Look, I could fill it if I wanted to, but I don't think I could be bothered. Got a few that size. Double backflip. Rip entry. And the judges all give it 10 out of 10. Got him. Right next to the kayak. Oh, one, look at the, the one beside it's bigger. Where'd the one go that was right beside it? There was two there then. What I might do is really quickly unhook un un this bloke. <laughs> oh, I'll put that back down there for a minute. I'll bob that around a bit while I deal with this guy. He can go over there. I want to know where the other one went. The second one was the bigger one. There's two fish, one small one and one big one. Of course you're going to catch the small one. <laughs> Wouldn't be right not to. Got it. Oh, that was a touch. Fishy come back and he did. Oh, look at them all. There's about ten of them there then. Will they come back up again? They did the first time. There was a big school of them there. All right, I'll get you unhooked. I'm going to throw you over there somewhere. I want to get that straight back down because I reckon they're still down there. They've got to be still down there. Got him. Not done him. He's back and... Oh, I missed him. He's not... Got it. Got him. <laughs> right under the kayak. This is fun. Oh, got him. Right in front of the kayak. They always fight harder when they hit closer. Just getting a few in this little area. Got him. That's a fish. Thought it was around the bottom. Hey, hey, I've trolled my second one. They're certainly uh, preferring the soft plastics today, but perseverance has paid off. Well, I haven't landed it yet, but and it's not very big. Uh -huh. Bigger than I first thought. I could definitely fill it that if I wanted to, but today I don't want to. the old barbless hooks are very easy to unhook fish and I would say they're very easy to unhook fingers as well but I don't know I'm not speaking from experience because every time I've hooked myself it's had a barb in it <laughs> I'm not lucky enough to hook myself with one of these ones <laughs> I might just wander back around the corner there to where I trolled that last fish and just cast my plastic around for a few minutes
Got him. I felt him bloody pecking at that then. He hit it three or four times. I'm thinking something's touching that. Got a bit of energy, this bloke. I don't know that it's any bigger than any of the others, but it's swam right around the entire kayak. And it's actually one of the better ones. Might be a good partner for the one in the esky. Oh yeah, he'll do. He'll come in with the one in the esky. He'll do. He'll go in with the one that's in the esky. You beauty. Well, it's two in the esky now. Whipper. That makes me happy. Hello, duck. It's a grey tear, that one. What is a duck's favourite kind of snack? Milk and quackers. <laughs> quack, 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 quack. Got him. Oh, done him! Bugger. That was a nice fish. Oh, you're frustrating. So frustrating. That was a nice fish, that was. That was definitely bigger than anything else I've caught today. Oh, why do the big ones get off? Got him. Don't get off this time. Didn't feel like too bad a fish either. Don't get off. There's a bit of weight in this one. It might be alright, I reckon. Might be an esky fish, I think. Oh, yes, definitely an esky fish. Yep, beauty. There was another one right behind it, the same size. Alright, come on, quick, unhook it. I'll dangle that down there like that while I break this fish's neck. Got him. A smaller one, this one, I think. He's got a bit of going in, but I think he's not as much weight. Now he can go back. Had a fair bit of life in him, but I could just feel the weight just wasn't there. See you later, mate. Oh, got him. I watched him open his mouth and grab it right next to the kayak. There's, there's one beside him as well. He's wondering where this one went. What happens if I unlock you? I'll attempt to unlock you. Just lower that straight back down. I wonder if that's where it might have gone. He hit it. We hit it. Got him. I've still got this one in my hand. Look. First time today I've, I've been bringing like schools to the side of the kayak. Oh, he's not a bad fish. He swallowed that. He must have hit it while I was sinking. Look, I've got two live redfin in my hands. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Come on, mate. There. That's like a double hookup, but with one rod. <laughs> See you later, mates. If you're planning on heading to the Waranga Basin fishing anytime soon, I'll just share my observations with you. The fish have been in schools. I've had lengthy periods of catching nothing in between catching fish. I'll, when I catch one, I usually catch quite a few, and then I'll go for quite a long time without catching any. Soft plastics have definitely worked better than hard body lures. I've been trolling in six or seven feet of water and I've only picked up two. All of my fish have been caught casting the little white curl tail grub, the white bait pearl by striped tiger, in probably two to three feet of water. At the most I'm casting into probably four or five at the most feet of water out there. They've all been in shallow and in schools and they've much preferred the soft plastic over the hard body. I don't know why, it's just the way it is. Anyway folks, it's nearly three o'clock. I'm going to pack up here now because I want to go over and just fish off the bank at that Harriman Point over there. And there's still a bit of bait fishing while I watch the sunset because sunset at the Waranga Basin from the Harriman Point side of the lake is nothing short of spectacular. Thank you all very much for watching. There'll be links to everything that I've used in the video description below. I hope you enjoyed this video.